name is Elizabeth Bayliss. I'm the Executive Director of Social Action for Health. We're a local community development organisation and we organise the field day um, in a, a lovely part of E5, which is the poorest part of the borough, right next to the river, between two very large estates, the Kingsmead and Clapton Park. The aim was to bring people together to have a good time and to um, get used to being with each other uh, with a view to our plans for the Olympics. But just to say a bit about the, um, the field day, we had about 300 people there, including lots of kids, which was wonderful. We had people from all the different communities in the area. We had... Um, <coughs> We had Congolese and Somali and Caribbean and African and uh, white, English and um, Turkish, Kurdish people, Polish people. It was a very rich day. Uh, p older people and the little kids all having a very happy day together. Uh, what we've done is found a whole load of people who are now interested in becoming volunteers with a view to um, developing their own capacity to run a field day. So that social action, our job is to help um, uh, encourage people to think they can do these things for themselves. Community action is really, uh, is really important. Um, being in the public space and claiming the public space for um, uh, such good things as a field day is an important people, a part of people taking charge of their own lives in their own neighbourhood. We aim for um, to help people, teach people, train people, get people organised, get people to gather in networks and so by the time the Olympics takes place in 2012 um, we, uh, we can have a community festival in that E5, E9 area where the people who come to the Olympics can be encouraged to come and be part of our uh, community festival. Uh, there's a lot of people interested in, in creating social enterprises, in making craft work. Uh, many of the Turkish Kurdish women who we work with are very interested in doing embroidery, uh, using traditional crafts to make things and then we hope we can sell them uh, to the people who come to the uh, Olympics. And what we hope is that what we show is Hackney is a successful multicultural borough where people can get on with each other and are empowered and feel that they have control over their own neighbourhood and their own areas and that that's an inclusive and um, uh, diverse process. Um, we feel very lucky in Hackney that we have such balanced communities, lots of different communities, all of similar size, and so there is a sort of balance so people are used to each other. People get to know each other at school and then are neighbours and friends with people in very mixed communities. We don't have segregated communities here. And that means that we hope we will show ha we will show the people who come from all over the world um, that we have the world here in Hackney and that we do it well. In order to do so, the whole thing must be organised by the community itself. So they are empowered by the process and get the legacy is that people are comfortable in organising their own communities. Bringing the community closer together, mm. knitting the community closer closer together and that the infrastructure that they've hopefully been put in place will stay there and enhance the community. I hope that afterwards the space can be used um, in a way that will integrate the community more than it has done. As a result of the field day, we have um, a lot of volunteers who are interested in getting involved with the work, the community work, which is about building relationships and building trust between communities. We have a steering group that we've set up and two of our guys were um, on Clapton Park Estate on Saturday drumming up interest in um, continuing to get involved in, uh, in community action. And they have got several important local uh, community leaders to agree to join the steering group. And that's the group that will take forward this work uh, into the next uh, 18 or 20 months. So we're very pleased with the start we've made. We want this to be community driven and community led 
and all our job within community within social action is to facilitate that process so that this isn't run by the council it's not run by uh, any uh, organization it's run by the local people themselves for themselves hackney is one of the five london boroughs that's going to be uh, that, that are the hosts for the uh, 2012 um, olympics but talking to local people in Hackney, they have no idea what it's Hopefully they're going to have some good facilities, which we don't know of. Apparently there are going to be retail jobs in Stratford, but there's an awful lot of people who wouldn't want or couldn't do uh, retail jobs. Um, we have very high unemployment areas, uh, unemployment rates in the areas that we uh, have been focusing on around E5 and E9. And that that those rates haven't been affected and nor will be by the Olympics, it seems. And that's what people are um, uh, puzzled about. And I have to say, disappointed, I think. Before the Olympics, I need a job. And create a lot more jobs and opportunities in sports for the um, community. Some of the youngsters are excited about what it might mean, uh, but they haven't got any idea what it might be. Nobody's talked to them about it. Hopefully the children in this area, it, they can be involved and like schools and that could be involved um, don't know and the one thing that the kids are very keen on which is football uh, their pitch has been taken away so what does that say it feels a very um, uh, strange and contradictory set of messages the Sunday footballers they've took half of their pitches away which is not a really good idea because now it's for coaches parking for the Olympics so they said they was going to put it back together but I don't think that they will. Sports is my favourite thing and and everything is more interesting than what you, um, you're thinking so that's why I'm looking forward and the thing I'm looking for more is the football, basketball and especially again football. Uh, the Olympics should be an opportunity for local people um, in the area where their area is being changed and yet people are not getting um, any access to it. Uh, and that's a great op missed opportunity. I like to use a 100 metre track so I can learn how to run fast on that. Well, I'm looking forward to maybe having, you know, maybe they, they do get a lot of people with um, disabilities, you know, running the show there. You know, it's sort of like an incentive for um, people with disabilities to maybe get more involved in sort of sport. And what we hope is to create through the work that we're doing on the ground with local people on a voluntary basis, we're going to get to train people so the legacy of the Olympics is that people are more confident engaging with um, other people in their communities are more confident uh, running groups themselves organizing events like the field day um, uh, g getting on and, and setting up stuff and knowing how to uh, find their way around the public um, system and the, the uh, learning how decisions are get taken there will be some legacy um, soft um, legacies that are about skills development that we're doing that won't lead to jobs immediately but in our experience through our health guides experience and other um, work that we do in training we know that people do have a greater sense of a greater chance to get a job if they have a, a sense of self-confidence and that's what we hope will be built will be built and will be developed um, by um, by the work that we're doing we haven't got any money to do this work but we, uh, but we can teach people and that's what we're really determined to do so that there is some beneficial legacy of this Olympic Games and people don't just feel bitter and disappointed.